On today's episode, we get to sit down with Jordan Higgins. If you haven't heard of him, he's an unbelievable entrepreneur as well as a really cool scientist. Now, we sit down and talk about his line, Symmetry. Now, with his earth science background, he really does a deep dive into why it's so important to have some of these different ingredients in our everyday diet. We talk about the well-being of being on this earth as well as getting our hands dirty and maybe even climbing a tree and how important that can be for our well-being. So let's dive into this episode because you are going to take a lot of notes. So do you want to go kind of in detail from where it all started to kind of like the journey of where it is now? Yeah, I'd love to. No, and thank you so much for saying that. It's been, um, it's been a, it's been a battle, the transition to, to get it to where it is today. And, and the, it's always fun to develop an idea, um, seeing a need in in society and a marketplace and, and being able to put something together that actually actually functions and you get the feedback from it and then you see the long-term stability of it and move forward so yeah I, so what really originally transpired I'm like I said I'm from Perry Sound grew up on Georgian Bay love being in nature one of my favorite things is is forest bathing or bushwalking and collecting yeah, yeah. harvesting wood for my for my sauna that's uh it's a really it's a way that I I'm able to decompress so mm-hmm. um we I lived in Mississauga for about five years and it, it really wasn't my kind of place. It was, it was nice to be able to hop on a train and go to a Jays game and be, be home by 11 o'clock, maybe down to a Leaf game. But obviously during this, this last year, I wouldn't have been able to, to, to sustain myself down there. It would have been, um, I would have been a different person. So <laughs> I was happy I, I got out of there when I did. But my, my brother had passed away in 2016. Um, he had a long battle with cancer and he was, uh, he finished up his resident, he finished up his medical school in Ireland and they had a baby. So he had this crazy fulfilled life and um, just an amazing, amazing accomplishments in, in about 31 years that he lived. And um, it inspired me to, you know, to take a look at what I was doing, where I found myself um, pursuing my goals and how I like to function just in a, just a daily, you know, what, what are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? And when when we kind of acknowledge those, we were able to sort of see how we can function better in some, in some ways. So I, I really took a step back back. from working in the environmental consulting industry. And I I traveled around Central and South America for for four months. I cruised, cruised down from Nicaragua, a little beach town called Papoyo. Met a lot of really, really cool people there. Hitchhiked from there down to um, the main bus hub. And then went into Costa Rica, met some friends there and just continued all the way down into Ecuador. And, and through that process, I met, you know, I got to experience a lot of culture. Um, the, the way that they, it's a nice and slow pace, really mellow. They, they eat good food, all their all the food comes locally right there'll be the there'll be the chickens that are running around on the road they'll just pick one up and eat it for dinner they have the same eggs that are there there a lot of their vegetables are just growing in their backyard so I, I think it'd be amazing and and a lot of people are doing this now in our areas starting their own little garden have a little hobby farm you know you you get your eggs from a local farm you try to get grass-fed beef so I think it, it's coming back to more of a local approach and that's one of the things Things what I wanted to do. Um, so what after I was introduced to cacao, which is the theobromine, theobroma cacao tree, mm-hmm. it was actually kind of an interesting, I sent you a little story that our little blog post that I was working on for our, our brand. And it was a sad, it was actually, I don't know if I shared this one, but it was at this time I was in, I was in Costa Rica. This place was called Mango Hill and it was over top of Playa Cacao. But there weren't like the cacao trees in this area. They once they got to maturation, the seeds would actually turn to dust. Oh. It was called monolithis, and it was basically like uh, dust pods. So it was a kind of fungus that was brought in in the early '90s and didn't let any of these these older cacao trees come to maturation. So it was kind of an interesting introduction to that plant. I didn't get to enjoy a cup of cacao on cacao on play a cacao on mango hill but i was interested to to the culture and it was something i brought back with me it was something that they used in their um 
uh, what their talc or their nose for their surfers, like they would use that as their, their sun cover, the sunblock. So as you know, introduced to people that would make their own find their own uh, products there and trying to incorporate that into what I wanted to do. And I had met this, this girl, her name was Lou, Run uh, her name is Lou Rundle. And she was working uh, with a nonprofit that she started called Fin Fighters. She was actually traveling around, getting stories, trying to do some undercover investigation with um, fish poaching and, and different uh, popular like fish uh, harvesting bad fish practices. So she really introduced me to that, that area as well. And we had, we had this idea to develop a under the eye redness reducer. So it was like a roll on to reduce the amount of like, kind of like a natural visine that would reduce your eyes from sunburn, like from getting the sunburn would be like salt burnt eyes. Cause I had a number of friends that after not wearing sunglasses and surfing all day, they actually couldn't open their eyes for three days because they were so burnt. So wow. some did try to relieve that pain. And that, that kind of spiraled into these ideas of creating different self-care and, and personal health products. And when I got back to, I got back to Canada, I, I reconnected with another friend who had started a nonprofit called Gumption Inc. And she was looking at the contaminated land surrounding my home, which is Nobel, Ontario. There was this company called Asco Nobel um, that had bought this land. And what, what the area was doing before, but they were the largest ammunitions producer in the colonials just after the Second World War. Wow. So it was actually shut down in about 1980, but there was a tremendous amount of contamination that was existing there. So she was trying to see if there's any correlation between the cancer rates in around Perry Sound, Nobel, and this existing contamination. So I came on as a potential scientist to, to help out with any um, scientific reports or the potential of us getting a chance to maybe go in there and collect soil samples and do some drilling if, if the company was willing to play ball. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, the municipality and the company did provide us with some scientific reports that a third party consultant had done. But of course, it was mainly focused on the areas of land that they wanted to sell. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So the area they retained, they, they were able to set, uh, divide up the area they wanted to sell and, and they retained the areas that were incineration sites and dumping sites um, that they still own now. So it's hard to sort of see the correlation between how that's impacted the surrounding area. Mm -hmm. And and now recently the, there's been a Chinese conglomerate that has bought the land and they're building a um a development out there the area is called sims lake i'm not sure if you're familiar yeah, or your sounds, viewers might yeah it sounds super familiar because our cottage is like technically nobel like we were uh okay. kilbear area so we right. come through that way when we come into perry sound quite often so yeah yeah yes yeah, so that was that was another the way that i kind of got introduced to my business partner chris phillips he was on the board of directors of gumption and he was sort of streamlining the the information and gathering people's health reports and, and histories and and then I came on as just you know a, a backer for any kind of the, the other soil and analytical stuff that we'd we'd get our hands on potentially. And he was he was running, he had two pharmacies, both compounding pharmacies and vet and human. So I started working with him. Uh, we were compounding drugs for veterinary uh, doctors as well as topicals for for humans. And we had, we had developed this proprietary application to reduce the amount of um, medical ingredient that you'd have to use. So it wouldn't be as tacky and you know, you wouldn't affect your system as much, but it would also increase the efficacy of it. So it was like a one, two punch where you could, you could make it last, make it feel better, make it last longer, and you could use less material. Wow. So it, yeah. And doing that, I, it wasn't really something that I was overly passionate about because again, we were working with pharmaceuticals yeah. and it's kind of, there's a lot of red tape in there. And in my mind, everything comes from plants and, and well, everything is nature, but everything comes from plants first. So why don't we try to take a step back and go back to where a lot of these ingredients initially um, originate from? Absolutely. Bringing it back to the basics. That's sometimes the best way to go. Cause obviously they were generated somehow and they worked. So why not bring it back? Cause I feel like with society, we're like always looking for the next best thing. I just feel like as humans, that's our nature. Right. But sometimes yeah. I feel like our generation too, a lot of people are thinking back to the way your train of thought is of like, 
let's bring it back to what our ancestors and what the the first people did because obviously it worked and now we're making all these fancy regimens that are creating something but what is it actually doing to our bodies like you said yeah all these different ingredients pharmaceuticals and to be honest that's something where in the beauty world I suffer extremely from um allergies and I was in it wasn't until I was a kid my parents I mean we ate extremely healthy we always had a garden pretty much ate off the land and it was one of the things where I got into beauty school and all the smells of chemicals and all these mm. lotions and different things. And I was coming out. I thought I had a cold the entire time. Right. Medic school. I was popping Buckley's. I was like, what's wrong with me? And then I got into the industry and I was getting all these rashes all over my hands. I was having a lot of issues, breathing, respiratory issues. And I'm like, wow, wow there is something wrong with this industry because this should not be happening. And even formaldehyde, like some of the products that like, because the beauty industry isn't as regulated as the food industry. So it's mind blowing to me of what is allowed to happen without having FDA approves all these different things with even the Canadian government, which is just mind blowing. Yeah, cosmetics are, are definitely a little bit easier to get into than compared to a natural health product or, or even a food product. Um, so that's interesting you say that. I, it's, it's crazy. So do you have allergies normally to like na- natural, like nature or like, or just mostly to those synthetic derivatives well, that you're using in, in- <laughs> I went to the to a specialist and they put all those marks on your back and do all the needle tests. Test. Yeah, yeah, I look, look like a Nintendo. Like my back had all those buttons <laughs> over it. And I remember I had a lot of scent like pollen and things like that. But I feel like most people have sensitivities to that. But actually yeah. since COVID of stepping back from doing services, I've been completely fine. Like I always mm. sounded like I had a cold. My voice sounded completely different. So and also having allergies during COVID was probably the worst time because everyone's like right. oh right. We're just like are you sick what are, are you okay you're coughing <laughs> yeah. tell me what's going on where have you been you been in the country <laughs> yeah you're teasing what's going on so it kind of made me step back and to your point of seeing what our bodies need like really looking at okay do I need to be ingesting all of these different things is this benefiting my body on a day-to-day basis I think if people actually okay. sat down and did food journaling or something they'd be like oh wow that's what I'm drinking in a day that's what I'm eating in a day that's what medication or different things I'm taking of how can I make it better for me like kind of that's powerful powerful you say on this podcast we always talk about nutrition and how important our gut health is as well as how our brains function when we're eating superfoods and obviously the convenience of having those available personally I'm like a low-key non-prep don't like to be in the kitchen kind of person and I'm sure a lot of my entrepreneurs and busy moms and busy people listening can completely relate to this Now, if you haven't tried Revive or heard of it, it's definitely a game changer. With my promo code and my affiliate links linked below, you will be able to receive 50% off your first order slash box of these delicious pre-portioned super foods that can be delivered right to your door with free delivery at checkout. So just hit the link below for the affiliate links as well as the promos to get 50% off your first box of these delicious pre-portioned meals that you're going to be thanking me for later. Um, so did you incorporate that into your, into your company, the idea of like more natural cosmetics? Yeah. So yeah. we really take pride in being like vegan, cruelty free. Um, and then we try to go as natural as possible. Obviously when we're dealing with like adhesives or specific things, we need to have a little bit of like some type of chemical or something in there to actually make the bonding happen. But I right. like go formaldehyde free because we're, we're the ones using it. And even for our You're clients, to it on a, like a whole, a whole day. Right. So exactly. Yeah. So, and that's where I was like trying to outsource product and trying to find like the best premium things I could find to bring in because I was shopping around and I'm like, people, it's all about money at the end of the day for a lot of companies. So I was like, okay, this, we need quality, quality over quantity is always what I've said. And we ended up great suppliers and making it happen, but it's the process. So how did your process happen from like, okay, I have this idea. And then you started Mm -hmm. kind of finding and educating yourself, obviously about it. How did you make that step into actually like taking it to the next step for, let's say life spice, for example, how did that like come actually? Yeah, well, it was. It was like, a, and I, I want to go back just briefly before we go there. I wanted to talk more about your food journal because everything that we put on our skin 
So everything you're doing with your company yeah. and how you've made it more natural, vegan, get away from all those different adhesive as best as you can. Because if you did a food journal, you almost got to, if you want to think in that realm, it's like almost do a, a journal of what you're putting on your skin as well, because you're going to absorb that to a point as well. So you're, it's going to go through your liver, liver into your bloodstream. So I, I think it, it comes back to the idea that a lot of these, a lot of the things we're ingesting, we want to benefit out of potentially, or you just want, or we're conscious, we're just like mindlessly eating maybe, but I, I find there's so many, there's so much, a, there's a better way to, to do it. You know, if we wanted a, a hormetic stress from say a, a broccofane or like a broccoli or sulforaphane, we could, we could just do a cold water lunch for two minutes, four minutes, have a sauna. You're going to get that same, that same release of dopamine and you're going to get that same um, benefit in nerve regeneration as well. So there, there's other ways we can get these hormetic stresses than actually in just ingesting them from our foods. But that kind of leads me into where we're going with life spice. Mm -hmm. We, Chris and I would sit around and we would just make up, mix up different spice concoctions. We look at the highest antioxidant spices because when you, when you think about spices or like antioxidant, where does your mind go? Do you think? I think red I've, wine, blueberries. Yeah, I was just going to say that red wine probably is one of the top ones on the list. Blueberries. Yeah, yeah. it's a good one. Spice it like spice as well, like you said in general, and even too like even the detoxification of like like you're saying like saunas and that type of thing to help with like the, the generation of that starting to actively happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so we we were like if you look at different cultures like the um, Eastern Indian Eastern Eastern Indian cultures or um, you know Sri Lanka and, and all those areas that they're. Their, di their diabetes, their cancer rates are so much lower than any Western culture. And it's, you know, what do they do more? Is it spices? They have a, they have a huge in intake of spices just with just culinary. So how do we, how do we, I know it's kind of getting more and more popular in, in our society now. Um, looking back even five years, it's still something that you kind of had to coax people into a little bit. So we're like, how do we make it palatable? How do we make it something that someone's going to want to drink on a daily basis or enjoy on a daily basis? And the first idea we had, which hasn't really come to fruition yet, but it was a, it was a natural um, health hot sauce. So it was going to be a high antioxidant hot, hot sauce. And so we, Chris's, Chris's brother is actually a, a renowned chef and he was working, working to try to help us develop that, but it never really got off the ground. And and it transitioned into, into life spice. So we, I saw all the benefits that were in cinnamon, Ceylon cinnamon specifically in just, a, you know, having salt in our diet, turmeric, and of course, cacao, mm -hmm. ginger, the ben like those are the backbones of, of all these, of all these products besides the, the new three ones that we, we brought in. Turmeric is pretty powerful and it, it is a bit bitter and it does have some interactions with um, blood thinners for an aging population. Yeah. So we, we took the turmeric out of those, those three blends to make them a little bit more um, diversified and, and able to, to go across different, different um, genres. Mm -hmm. But I, it, it was about a two year process to get a flavor profile. I, and it's probably built around my flavor. My, <laughs> you know, a lot of people tasted it for me, but it, it's built on what I like. And it's a lot of, you know, bitter things that, that are very tasty and cinnamon and, and chocolatey. So it's like very a, I like yeah like I, I like to say it's an adult an adult hot chocolate with notes of cinnamon and ginger it's funny you say hot chocolate okay this is like I have this like thing that happened to me as a kid I was at like the Port Carling Winter Fair and I had the worst experience with hot chocolate I think as a kid I barely had sugar so when I could get it I was like oh my god sugar like I want everything so I had <laughs> hot chocolate and I ended up not feeling very well and being sick so I as an adult I could never drink hot chocolate but I think that's why I love like life spice because like you said it's right. an adult hot chocolate like I, it makes me like that warm like wintry feeling almost when I drink it yeah. it's, kind of, it's hard to explain but I I think I enjoy it so much because it's like I still am getting like that hot hot chocolate feeling but yet it's also good for me it's obviously has no sugar in it and I'm like I'm feeling good because I'm nourishing myself as I drink it so that's probably why I like I like it so much well, I know I think it, it does something in the gut too. it yeah time when I drink it you can you can almost drink as much as you like of it about four servings is is kind of the maximum that we've worked with and and understanding the 
like any natural product will have heavy metals in it. Even, even the head of broccoli that you buy at the grocery store, there's going to be lead and there's going to be, um, arsenic, there's going to be mercury, there's like a very minute potential amounts in there. But when you look at natural health products, it's tested out so rigorously to make sure that you can ingest as much as you like, basically. Yeah. So, um, I'd like to, I like to say that basically the head of kale that you're going to, or the, yeah, the bunch of kale you're going to pick up that's non-organic, you're probably going to have more heavy metals in it than you would, uh, you know, a whole bag of life spice. Yeah. So, and I, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's an exaggeration by any means. Yeah, that's and I yeah, when you think yeah, about it. it is. And realistically, you look at this; it's all about the soil and the air quality, right? So as long as it's being grown in good soil, has good water, good air quality, it's it's just naturally occurring, right? We're gonna we're gonna have that stuff in our soil no matter what. So, and yeah. some places, plants are really good at, at drawing it out as well. That's why you can do bioremediation, say in the the, the area that we were talking about before. There's certain plants, maybe even hemp is really good at, at drawing that stuff out as well. So you could use that and and then you could again it you'd be you'd be just taking that contamination from there and putting it somewhere else. But yeah. at least it's not gonna um, accumulate in the soil and in, in the animals and then ultimately into us. Yeah. But life spice, it was it was such it was something that I working in an office setting for so many for it wasn't that long, five, six years you'd have those cravings for something that would keep you going, right? You'd be writing a report or having a late afternoon meeting. I'm sure you go through this a lot as well. Those, those two o'clock lulls where you're just like, I need a 20 minute nap. Yeah. Or another coffee. <laughs> or another coffee. Yeah. So what, and instead of having that, I found like, like those afternoon coffees, if I wasn't eating a lot, I get a bit of a gut rot. Oh yeah. Or the, and like, I get the, I can only get coffee a day, but I get all jitt jittery. Like you got to bring me off the ceiling. Like I, I can't yeah. drink more than one coffee a day. I know. And that's one of the benefits of cacao. It has theobromine, which is a derivative, like similar in the structure as, as caffeine, mm -hmm. but it, it, it doesn't have, it has more of a slow release. So it doesn't have that, that short spike. Yeah. And it, and it, and it gives you, it's just a mellow, um, uplifting, you know, stimulant, but it doesn't give you the jitters or the crash yeah and that's why and that's why it, and it's and it's so tasty and it has so many benefits that it it allows things to pass through the blood brain barrier as well so it brings some of those good nutrients and works works with the mushrooms to increase the the brain regeneration so we can create new neural connections and and i i find more and more now that i'm, I'm learning so much about the mushrooms and the spices it they don't work on their own they work in conjunction as how we live our lives right so it's not like okay i'm gonna I'm going to take this supplement or, or, you know, this, this product, and I'm going to be so much smarter. I'm going to be able to, um, you know, dominate my workforce or whatever. Right. So it's like, you have to be able to do the work. You, you, you can help yourself by having these lifestyle changes or, or adjusting your, your diet, but you still have to do the work and then the relaxation that goes along with it. Right. I'm feeling smarter just drinking this this morning. <laughs> Well, yeah, I think that's what it's all about. The placebo effect. Just tell me it's like going to make me smarter by tomorrow. <laughs> it's real. The placebo effect's real. That's why they have to incorporate it into every study. Yeah, exactly. Well, the other thing that, to your point of like, of your everyday routine and stuff is, I was actually having a conversation with another entrepreneur and we were talking about how, I'm sure you get this a lot too. Like, how do you, how do you accomplish so much in a day or how, like, how are you, how do you stay so productive and all these different questions. But I think when you're like nourishing your body, well, you're taking care of yourself as well as you're working on something that you absolutely love and you can, you have your why behind it, which is like keeping you going, but getting up every morning saying like, today's the day, like really getting up and utilizing every minute, every hour you have. And I seriously, I just feel better by the end of the day when yeah. the day happens and I'm laying in bed at night and I'm like, wow, I accomplished so much. If you're a busy person like most of us and forget to take your vitamins every morning, Care of Vitamins has made it extremely easy to remember. What I personally do is I just put the box beside my coffee maker because we all know I can't forget my coffee in the morning. And I make sure that my everyday vitamins are ready to go. Either if I'm on the go, and or I throw them in my purse. It's a great way to keep them all in a compact space as well as keeping your cupboards and cabinets clean 
and simple. Now, with my promo code, capital N-M-E-7-G-R, you will receive 50% off your first order. Now, another great thing I love about this business is they really care about you. Now, when you go online, they're gonna ask you questions of why you need vitamins or what you're really needing in your everyday life. Personally, we all need a little bit of extra energy, maybe some extra magnesium, things like that. And this is a great way to keep the questions out of your mind when going to the grocery store and or a drugstore to pick up your vitamins. Now, once again, that promo code is capital N-M-E-7-G-R for 50% off your first order. You feel better about it, but I think with back to what we're actually eating and drinking, all of those things have such a reflection on how we feel every hour of the day. Like what we were saying about coffee, like I would say I've drank more coffee since the pandemic has happened because I think just working from home, I was too busy at the spa to even think about making a coffee for myself. But now being at home, I realize now my limit. I'm like, okay, I can only drink one coffee. I know this is how it makes me feel at the end of the day. But then incorporating, like you were saying, all these different spices, even when it comes to cooking and in educating ourselves, because I'm not sure... I know, I know probably in a lot of professions, people are starting to self-educate, which is great, but really thinking of like, why, why is this good for me? So yeah. with, with your, um, with life spice in general, like, is it good for everyone now at this point in the stage? That's, of- a, that's a great question. And, and I think, I think everybody's different. Like everybody has a different, different things that we're good at every has a, a different way to digest and function um some things won't work with people some people won't whether it be the flavor profile the taste so i wouldn't say it's great for everybody but i think it's something that everybody can try and see how it melds into a recipe i find a lot of people come back with feedback saying that they love it in their smoothies yeah. in their oatmeal it kind of it's for some people find it a little bit bitter um they throw in the oatmeal you throw a little bit of maple syrup with it and it the cool thing with that I find is that it, it almost like binds to those oats or those, those whole wheat um, compounds. And then they're going to sit in your gut longer. So those spices are going to just like help the digestion along and clean your gut wall out and just drag everything out with it as well. So there's, there's neat little ways that people are incorporating them. And we get these, we want to develop a little recipe book. Yeah. Um, it's something that we're working with, with symmetry, little, little bit like um, blogs, you know, video blogs, doing small little ideas, taking the guesswork out of it. How can you incorporate this into your, you know, you don't just have to add it to your coffee or drink it on its own in hot water. You can throw it in a smoothie, put it in your, your brownies or cookies or life spice yeah. truffles, yeah. Um, oatmeal, all those things. And, and it, I think it speaks, it speaks to um, a certain, a certain person. I speak to a lot of sort of middle-aged women that really find it effective. Like yeah. personally for me, I, I've been taking it for, for a long time. I take a little break here and there, just see if there's any, any benefit to not using it. I feel better on it, Yeah. but I don't, I don't really see like a huge cognitive boost to it. I just feel that I, I'm more productive. I, my gut feels better. Again, I, I'm probably, I'm sleeping deeper too. So it, okay. it's, it's those small changes that I notice. but then you talk to people, their arthritis is down Their like their pain tolerance is up they Again, it goes back to that sleep cycle. So we can, I find, I like to start, like you're talking about a, a busy work day. Yeah. I like to think that my day is when I'm going to bed. So how do you, how do you get that, that good sleep hygiene in the, at night? So it's like having, you know, eating early enough that you're able to digest, go for a walk or do a little bit of activity, sit down with a life spice, a book, go into bed, sleep nicely for six, seven hours, wake up around 515, breath practice, meditation, yoga, and then you and then you slowly get into the day. So I find if I'm starting my day at night before bed, I, I'm already crossing things off my list when I get up, right? So I slept well, I'm getting up and it's and it's feeling really good. So and I think it's it's all about attainable goals too, especially when you're an entrepreneur, because there are so many tasks that are that are like always on our minds. And I know you know this as well. Yeah, it's like and, an- and, and, and because there's only, you know, there's only one of us. And I know you, we've spoken this, spoke about this before. We can, we can give jobs to other people, but in the early stages, we're still overseeing a lot of it, especially yeah. in my work. Yeah. Um, but it, I think it's find those attainable goals and then being able to put your phone down, 
put the computer away when you're actually at home or get into the bush, get into the water, because th those are times that I feel I'm able to reset and then really feel accomplished when I come out of it. Be like, yeah, I got all these amazing things done. But the goal for me about starting a company and, and starting a brand and, and trying to create awareness and, and help people out with their daily life, make them, you know, their pain tolerance better, make them move better was really my goal. It's like, if we're not moving, we're not learning anymore and we're not functioning proper, we're not really ourselves. So the goal with Life Spice, the goal with Symmetry in general, Symmetry, our new brand with, with our pain relief cream and our powders or mushroom spice powders is really just to, to help people function better and move. Yeah. Is that like long, long-term cognition and long-term functioning is all tied in with how we move our bodies. So if we can continuously move all the way through our lives, we'll be able to keep this thing turning and keep our, our brains active just, just that much longer. So we don't want to spend the last 10 years of our lives lying in a hospital bed. I want to be climbing mountains. Yeah. I want to be, I want to be playing golf. So I, I golf yesterday or on, on Monday with a, a gentleman who was 75, he was playing 36 holes that day. And he played 54 before and he's like, he's a, an active climber. So he's going to be, I'm going to be joining him this afternoon. We're going to go climb his, his wall. And, and I'm really excited to sort of develop a relationship. It's really cool. Another thing I would mention is just I'm getting more into manifestation as well. It's just the ideas of we, we're always like the universe is sort of working with us. And if we can just tap into it a little bit here. And yeah. you get that extra boost. You're like, oh, I create, I created something. You know, I, I made that new connection today, and maybe I asked for it. And and those things kind of snowball and spiral for me as well. I don't know if you found that as something that you do in, in well, your your own I practice agree. as well. I agree with you so much. When I think putting yourself out there, I mean, people can sit there and be like, oh, you're lucky, or this happened to you, or whatever. It's like, no, like you have to put yourself out there, but also with like the universe and listening to your intuition. I feel like. When you're really in tune with yourself, you're able to know which path or which direction you should be going in, or you know what's right or wrong for yourself. And I think I would say the past couple of years, I don't know, the older I get, even though I'm not that yeah. old, <laughs> you get to this certain point in your life, you start to really tune into who you are, I think, because you've gone through some challenges or you've gone through all these different paths and directions. And I found even with the world being as crazy as it is, I've really spent this year reflecting like I always give myself instead of goals for the new year I always give myself a word to kind of live by for that year and mine's actually right. reflection because I want to look like I actually want to look back for once and be like I'm reflecting on all the things and accomplishments I've done because I feel like as entrepreneurs we're always looking ahead which is great but I think we also need to like be happy and really like look at how far we've come and, and give ourselves that pat on the back that we know we deserve it's almost like we're waiting for someone else to do it for us when really yeah. like we need to be doing that so even this podcast for example like obviously you came to mind right away because I was like we had such a meaningful conversation a year ago that I think other people would really benefit from and also with with the whole world and everything and who knows what the heck's going on with COVID and the pandemic I think there's so many good things that are happening this year that people need to hear about. I mean, the news and everything can be so toxic, but there's people like you who are in our community who are making a difference every day with, with moving forward and, and bringing us back to those, those basics of our health and well being and moving our body. Because I look at like my parents are getting older and I feel like I look at them and I'm like, wow, I never thought the day would come where I might have to take care of my parents one day. Like that, before we know it, that day is going to come. So even helping them and giving them the insight that I've learned being like, oh, maybe you should try this, or maybe we should go for a walk and making, making it a, a family. I think family has become a huge part of this as yeah. well through the pandemic, because that's something mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people took for granted. And now people are like, I can't see my family or with the pandemic and restrictions and whatever else, but even just having someone to, like you said, going golfing with somebody and you end up meeting a new connection or a family member connects you with someone else. And and I think being open to that, I think the universe, like your point of saying, like being open to it. So when I go somewhere, I mean, I'm a pretty bubbly open person anyways, but I'm always have my energy. I'm, I'm a very energy reading type of person, which is kind of useful or not at some points, but I can also read a room fairly well of the energy or someone's, I can feel if someone's feeling down, I can go and maybe like make their day or even giving someone a compliment, right? Goes such a long way. 
And I think with the beauty industry, I've definitely kind of, sometimes I mean, I'm a therapist. Sometimes I feel like talking to clients, but that's a huge part of our business and why I love it. You you hear so much from them as well, right? You're constantly interacting with them and and continuously too. One thing that came up for me there, I, I, I forget the book, but it was called Icky Guy. So it's like your life's purpose or a word that kind of resonates with you. And, and it's really neat that you say that, that yours is reflection right now, because I, I think that that brings back, you know, it's a lot to strive forward, but we need, I was talking to a friend of mine, Jonathan Anderson of Dick Duff's Beef Jerky, and he, he was going through a lot of um, similar issues where he's like, you know, I've got all these new connections and contacts and we've grown through COVID, but I'm still, you know, need more. And I, I was like, well, you know, you have to take a step back and realize where you've come from in the last five years and how, how much you've created. A lot of, and for a lot of people, it's hard to, to take a step back, sit in the water, you know, sit in, sit in what we have and just, and, and resonate with where we are. And I, and I think that's, with me being, you know, an entrepreneur, that's what I want to be able to do is, is create something, but also see it flourish, but also allow it to, to benefit my life that I'm not a slave to it. And so it's, it's, it's working for me and with me and not, I'm not just working towards an ultimate goal that doesn't have an end. Absolutely. So I think there's, there's something powerful there. And I, and I, I, I love that, you know, family is, is one of the best things. I was sitting around with my dad and my girlfriend, um, Britley just the other night and we were just kind of sitting around the table after dinner and no phones, just chatting. And we just started talking about books we're reading and, and, and it, it just kind of evolves into the conversation. We're not trying to rush and do everything as long as, you know, we, we take the time and we can, we can learn so much more from each other, even though you know, we might be with them all day, but sometimes you just let those guards down. You let the, the conversation flow where, it, where it's going to go. And um, we can really, we can really learn stuff. Absolutely. And I think too, the human connection, like uh, that's the biggest thing I really miss is some of my older wise clients that come in here. We have a lot of gentlemen that come in here as well. And they, it's just been so eye opening of learning all the different things they've gone through. And even a lot of them are entrepreneurs here in Muskoka. So it's been really neat hearing a lot of their stories over the years and the development of like, they're, yes, they're retired now, but they're still involved one way or another. I actually, mm-hmm. um, tree planted for the first time during um I guess it was a couple weeks ago I went and planted okay. some trees and I think I planted like I don't know it was like 900 trees or something crazy and wow. I was in the bush and I'm like oh, thank god there was no mosquitoes or bugs or anything but <laughs> I was oh, like do it in early May yeah that it was it was a really good idea we went that early and it was one of the things where when I was a kid I always loved like running around in the bush you'd make like all these different forts and things like that living in the country and it really brought me back to my childhood and it made me reflect on like we live here in this beautiful place but how often do I actually go inside or go outside and walk the bush like I used to as a kid or like even planting a tree every time I'd plant a tree I'd like okay you better grow or give it like a little sense of like hey you you're gonna survive you mean you mean something yeah Yeah. exactly you're gonna become something and I just felt like after those three days of doing that I just felt like a completely different person even every night when I'd come home yes I looked like I fell down a hill I looked like I was covered in mud head to toe but it was like I just felt so good about giving back to the environment and the world and it was one of those things where I was walking around with these little, I guess there was like a, quite a few of us, but I was one of the only girls and I was walking through with the guy who was kind of directing all of us where to go. And it was just so mind blowing of I've lived here all my life. And he was telling me all these things about the trees and -hmm. different, like, oh, these ones actually generate better in, in like more um, dry soil or like this is better in the marshy areas. And I'm like, now I can't look at a tree the same, but I wouldn't have learned that if it wasn't from someone where we slow down, take away technology yeah. and just actually be open to those type of conversations and, and listening yeah. to our, our elders. That's amazing. I think that's, that's such, a, a, such a great thing to, to, to touch on. And the other thing, what maybe reason why you're feeling so good too, you're you're getting that that new that microbiota into you're getting your nails dirty, oh, and you're yeah. breathing in that fresh air, so you're changing your gut just as you're out there. Yeah. Again, you're moving your body, so you're you're really receptive to to that information that's coming in too. Yeah. Um, I, I love like one of my favorite things is is forest bathing. I guess they call it, but just getting in the bush and I'm constantly just just foraging for for dried 
nice oak woods and I can just pick off the ground and carry and then just cut it up and throw my sauna and and, and connect with nature in so many ways. That's one thing I've, I've really enjoyed in the last year. We built, built a sauna in May and it was a, it was a great time for it because there wasn't a lot of things going on, but I was, I was introduced to that, I guess, when I started dating Brit and it was 2018 and I, I didn't really know what it was going to, how it was going to evolve into my life, but it, it's such an amazing part for me to, yeah, there's a lot of benefits in the respiratory, cardiovascular, um, detoxifications, met metabolism. But for me, it's, it's a way to, to just disconnect, reconnect, slow down, tap into my, you know, my unconscious or my conscious breathing and, and, and get in the water. It's just another connection to nature. And I, I think it's, it's so invaluable. You can't really put a, you know, a value on it um, because it, it just adds to so many different parts of my life. Muskoka Beauty wants to thank everyone for listening to our podcast. And we're offering 15% off your first bottle of Lash and Brow Serum by Muskoka Beauty. Now, if you haven't heard or if you haven't tried or seen before and afters or even seen reviews, you're definitely going to want to head to muskoka.com and click onto our Lash Serum to actually read some of the reviews because this product is unbelievable. It will enhance your natural length and your brows as well, making them more full and absolutely gorgeous. So head over to muskoka.com and type in promo code Beauty Brand Podcast 15. Once again, that's Beauty Brand Podcast 15. Happy shopping and happy lashing. We we wanted to we wanted to do something that was more natural. A lot of people, it was the early part of the pandemic. So we were asked by a number of local pharmacies and municipalities around the area. It was really hard to get any any sanitizers the early part of the pandemic. And we so we, we wanted to produce something that's going to be functional, hyperallergenic, easier on the skin for somebody like yourself, who's, oh, yeah. I don't know if you found it like putting on those, putting on the gels, like oh. the typical standard hand sanitizer gel, your hands get chafed and irritated. Yeah. And like, even that sticky texture, like, I feel like I can't get it oh off. My God. So yeah. I just want to wipe it off. <laughs> I know I made the mistake of trying, trying one at the beer store back in the early start of the pandemic. And I was like, oh my God, I just wipe this off. <laughs> we wanted to make it as natural as possible. And there are, there, there are some ingredients in there, like the, the aloe, it's, it's a cream base that we developed and we, and then we, we mix it in with the high quality um, grain spirits, which is ethanol, a lemon, lemongrass and lemon, lemon oil, which gives that nice little uplifting scent yeah. as well. So it, it, right away it's gonna it's gonna make your hands feel better you can put it you can put it on and, and you know the alcohol goes away it doesn't even smell like alcohol it just smells like a nice lemon scent and and leaves your hands fresher than they were before so yeah. that we, we had such good feedback from people who were experiencing again like the chafiness and the the, the allergy response from a standard gel we're like it was only going to be a temporary product but we found that the feedback led us to to carry it along with us into our symmetry brand so we we're pretty excited with it it's so funny because like in our industry there seems to be a shortage of hand cream which i think because of hand sanitizer so everyone's using more cream which for us right. is wholesale and i'm having a really hard time they've of course raised the prices of it because it, they know that people are wanting to buy more but i'm noticing mm -hmm. with with the amount of hand sanitizer that's being sold i swear this the cream industry is just taking like just loving this because more and more people are using more creams. Right, so right, we, right, right. Yeah, we use Gaywall here a lot, which is a German company, and it's all like it's all natural. They use a lot of different. Um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head, like a mint and like different like aloes and things like that incorporated in their products as well. But it was so yeah. funny because I could not get the product for the longest time because people were mm -hmm. like, "Oh, my hands are dry, or I need the crack ointment for it," and plus we can't be doing right now with like the closures and things like that we were opening and closing and people weren't getting their pedicures so they were dealing with like cracked irritated feet and all these different problems that right. people were having but even with the the pain relief people if people can't go to their normal chiropractor or their massage therapist is that something that people can basically put it on their like hands feet neck arm they can put yeah that anywhere so it's it's moisturizing on its own so if you wanted to if you had say rheumatoid arthritis or issues with your knuckles you wanted to put it on there. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's it's non-tacky. So I don't know if you've okay. used some of it, but it it absorbs nicely into the skin. And and the other the other benefit with it is that it almost kicks in within five minutes. 
And some people say it lasts as long as two to four hours. Yeah. So there's, there's a, there's a long-term benefit and you can use as much as you like. I think anywhere from one to four pumps is, is kind of the ideal amount, but it's, it's good to, to sort of massage it into the area where you have that, that kind of pain, little concentric circles helps to, to break down the microtubules in our skin and, and pushes yeah. it further into our muscles. Yeah. And, and, and it has that, I don't know if you've, you've, you've smelt it, but it has a nice uplifting all those essential oils. So it, it's a kind of a one, two punch where it's going to give you that aromatherapy that I'm sure you're very familiar with, yeah. but it's uplifting from the, the notes of the, the ginger and the eucalyptus Oh yeah. warming from the cinnamon and ginger, and then really relaxing as well with the, the frankincense. Yeah. I can really, so I, it smells amazing. What comes out? What, what notes come out to you? I can definitely smell the frankincense. I think because I use frankincense a lot because it's right. like the king of all oils is how I explain it. So it's it good for everything. I know. Boswellia. Yeah, I can really, yeah, yeah. I would say the frankincense is what comes out the most to me. It smells amazing. And yeah, moisturizing. Like I can see, I look at my one hand compared to the other one and I'm like, oh God, I don't need to put some on the other <laughs> hand now. <laughs> it's pretty dry. Perfect. So yeah, I, I obviously there's there's points where it, it comes in, in in hand for me as well, whether it be um, a golfer's elbow that I'm constantly strengthening or like a wrist pain, um, a sore toe. I've had snowboarders, skateboarders, um, just regular professionals. One of the guys in the founder circle who does all the videography and the editing, he gets this similar to like a tennis elbow from editing and using his mouse oh, properly yeah. or just poor ergonomics. So he's using that cons consistently and it's just yeah, the, the response again with with both the the, the life spice the life symmetry powders and doc walkers which is now our natural pain relief yeah. it it's 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 really what i i really wanted to go for you know, like it's it's great to produce a product see it come from you know the early stages to fruition and, and come together but until you actually share it with somebody and get those get the feedback on how it it's helping their day whether it's helping their sleep or helping them function better or feel better in any way that that's the gift right there. And, and that's, that's what makes me keep getting up and doing this is, is that is those, those response from, from our customers. Absolutely. You know, you're on the right track. And sometimes I mean, like what you were saying before is sometimes it might work for us and it might not work for others, but just getting those yeah. testimonials and those results. Cause then you have your kind of like your research too, right. Or you can present that to someone else who might be having the same, same, like foot issues or I mean tech neck is a huge thing right now too and being right. able to offer those those re result driven products for them 100 yeah. percent. yeah no it's, it's so it's so powerful when you actually get you know people's opinions on how it works and how it helps them and the continuous use of it so I yeah it, it can't be it can't be brushed under the rug by any means no that's it's a it's a powerful tool and yeah I, I love I love talking to people I think it's I think it's a, you know, it goes back to community. When you can generate our community, we'll be stronger Absolutely. as a whole. And supporting local, yeah. that's a huge part. When I when I was at the health food store here in Bracebridge and they were telling me about Life Spice and they're like, yeah, it's from Perry Sound. I'm like, what? Like, this is crazy. And then when we were connecting on social media, um, oh. now with the semi, um, like with the names and things like that, where symmetry. did all, yeah, with symmetry, like with, um, like life spice I kind of have an idea because of the spices and lifestyle I feel like it yeah. kind of comes to one but with the newest line can you go into a little bit more detail where that came about sure yeah uh, so life spice was was a great idea that was originally Chris's idea but it wasn't it wasn't something we could really take too far because there's a big um, life spice company in Chicago so we were getting tens of thousands of hits on our website just because we had life spice in, in like the um, block of the website, but it wasn't really creating a lot of return. It was like, yeah, I'm like 10,000, but you know, only like hundred, hundred, big hundred views. So what's going on. Right. And so we had to eventually make that change and we wanted something that would incorporate both the pain cream and the powders. So it was like, do we take Doc Walkers and do it? And that was more had a local Georgia Bay feel, which I really did like. And Life Spice, again, it was a it was a brand that was, you know, almost spoke to the product, but I didn't know if it really worked with the cream and the products that we eventually wanted to do. So symmetry, it it comes from trying to find the balance in ourselves and find the balance in nature. 
And if we can, if we can work again, it comes back to the idea of we're, if we, if we're in balance with what we, like we, we know that we can do well, then we're going to, we're going to succeed. We're not going to have those failures. We're going to have longer sustained health. And then as well in nature, you know, find that balance in nature, regenerative agriculture that's going on now is where, you know, we need, we need cattle in, to move around the soil to add their excrement and, and bring those bugs back in. That's fat. It's going to increase the regenerative of that soil. So this, as we segregate these different areas, you know, of health or of, of nature, we're not going to have that cohesive return. So if we can find the balance that, that works both in, in, the, in both those areas, that's, that's kind of the idea. And it was a play on words, you know, it's, it's yeah. symmetry, it's symmetrical and the, and how it, it's aesthetic, aesthetic pleasing on the eyes and it, and it sounds nice on the ears too. Absolutely. And even the logo and everything, like even the branding. Yeah. It, even like the birch bark, it's like when you gave me the note with the birch bark and then looking at the actual labeling and everything, it's, it's really well done. I'm like a huge packaging person now. I think it's yeah. now getting into like the manufacturing and like actually building products i i go into any store now and i always look at packaging it's just like a thing that i do and i feel I like it's literally symmetry to the line no pun intended to what you're what you're mm -hmm. doing all together with bringing the nature and everything into into our homes right yeah well, thank you so much i really appreciate that yeah yeah and i'm excited to, to work with you and your your spa and in any way possible and obviously and, and connect with your um your clients and customers and and listeners yeah. So I actually, I did, I did generate a coupon for you guys as well. Awesome. If you had symmetry.co, it's uh, Nicole, Nicole 15 for 15% off. So. Perfect. And then we'll put that in the show notes below too. So then people can click on it and it'll be able yeah. to bring them right to the website. Now, where is that the best place for people to find you? I know you have an Instagram page as well. Yeah. No, my Instagram's uh, good too. That's at, at jhig7 or we're... We just launched our, our social media as well. It's just at Symmetry Health. Perfect. So that's that's slowly getting going. And we're doing a, a big influencer campaign to try to get, you know, connect with more people as well as and that's the balance right now, working with a new marketing team to to combine the digital marketing with the, the old style, getting feet on the pavement and getting into <laughs> stores and, and connecting with people. And, and that's what I really want to do is you know, get to a point where we can return and go to markets and, and connect with people yeah. more face to face because uh, that's 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 where I thrive. Yeah, because I feel like with Life Spice, I feel like I came upon Life Spice right before the pandemic. And with the spa, we can't actually give our clients beverages right now. It's like just because right. of the health unit. So when yeah. that time comes, I want to definitely have like a spot where people can pick from a menu and, and figure out which products oh, they actually want to try. And I want to try to keep it as local as possible because I think yeah. obviously, and I think with the pandemic, it's made us really think about where our money's going and trying to keep it in the community as much as possible so yeah I'm more than happy even like all the products that you sent me I love that they're now do they come in these boxes normally or is this like a yeah, yeah so that's great yeah. for travel you can take out, out the individual packages or if you're on the go and you just want to throw it in some hot water or in your coffee it's exactly. great yeah. It takes a bit of the guesswork out because before you'd be like, okay, is it a tablespoon, a teaspoon? So yeah. it's, it's, ha it's half, like it, the serving size is, is uh, basically a teaspoon and a half or half a tablespoon and three and a half grams. So those little pouches has one serving, just rip it open, throw it in your coffee, throw in your hot water, in your oats, your smoothie on the go. And, that, and that's why we did it. Like right now it's a little bit extra work with the small packages until we get the right, um, you know, pre pouches and everything. But it's, it's how I felt that it was going to be able to go further, yeah. um, allow people to use it more readily, take it on the go. So I'm, I'm really, yeah, I'm really excited with that. And the boxes, they look great. They make the pack, the product look fantastic as, as well as all the other ones as well. So yeah, there's the, the hundred gram size, which is yeah, the bigger bags. Okay, perfect. As so well. With and then with life spice, will you put them in these boxes too? Um, so yeah, we have like the four mushroom, the balance four. Okay. Which is life spice. Yeah. So life spice has now become the balance four oh, mushroom blend. I'm not. Okay. Okay. Cause I was like, yeah. oh, cause it was so funny when I went into the health food store, I'm like, I can't find this anymore. That explains it then. Yeah. So they just got a new shipment, um, a couple of days ago. Oh, okay. So, so they'll be selling this now. 
and mm -hmm. and then the mushroom kick or the endurance kick so that's that's with more focus on uh, the cordyceps chaga and it's still that got that nice chocolatey flavor ginger and cinnamon but we, we took out some of the more powerful ones like the the turmeric and uh, the nutmeg which again can have some you got to keep that really low because there's there's a bit of a, a hallucination effect with with nutmeg if you ate a whole um a whole nutmeg kernel or seed there's a possibility you might have a bit of um hallucination so, so health canada can makes you keep that pretty low people can add it to themselves <laughs> yeah exactly and then there's um the immunity balance so that's got focus with the reishi and chaga yeah and then again this the similar blend with the the backbone of cacao and then the one you showed there was the the recognition so that's that's all line a big a good dose of lion's mane which yeah. has the benefits to work with um your brain derived nootropic factor perfect yeah. and you can drink these yeah. like you, said, you can drink them any time of the day it's not going to affect your if anything it'll help your sleep cycle um yeah 100 percent i you know a lot of people like to relax with it after dinner um okay. help their digestion as well as prepare themselves for a nice deep sleep full of amazing dreams there you go awesome well thank you so much jordan this was unreal i feel like i even learned a lot when it comes to like plant medicine in a way too of like bringing it into our our every day and making sure that we know what we're what we're actually bringing into our homes and realizing how yeah no i really i really enjoyed this nicole thank you so much and um learning lots about you every time we chat so it's <laughs> it's an amazing journey and i i hope we continue to connect Absolutely. And hopefully we can meet in person soon. <laughs> That's just crazy. Yeah, I know. Well, we're, we're making the progression, right? From phone calls, social media to, you know, Zoom chats. We'll just continue to stay in touch. Exactly. Sounds yeah, great. It'd be nice to have a, have, a, have a symmetry balance blend in person. So Exactly. It sounds amazing. Thank you so much, Jordan. Really appreciate Thank it. You. Okay. Cheers. Bye.